Hey everyone, and welcome back to Procrastination Population 16, I think. It's uh, currently 2.41 a.m. I have to be up tomorrow at 7.30 a.m. So, yeah, you're right. It's the perfect time for a Binding of Isaac Afterbirth run. Probably like a challenge run now that I think about it. Let's, uh, I forgot totally where we were. Fallout 4 came out and I've been kind of lost in that, so... Uh, we'll just keep going down the list. We're on Pay to Play, which... I imagine utilizes the item pay to play that they have since added. Seems like it. Okay, so we start with uh, money equals power, sack of pennies, 50 cents. Okay, and it's kind of like the, uh, seems like it's similar to like the cursed challenge that used to be a thing. Uh, okay, curse rooms do not cost. Uh, the cursed challenge was basically, uh, eh, spiders in here is not so great. The cursed challenge was basically every single room. Oh, we got some money from that. Oh, we lost money from that somehow. Okay. I wonder if there's item rooms, I'm not actually sure. Uh, the curse challenge was, uh, there basically, uh, every room instead of being a regular door was, uh, was a cursed room door, whatever you want to call it, so it hurt you. I didn't want to come in here. Spider guy is, like, pretty cool, but I don't really know that it gives us any, like, statistical benefit to take it. Also, it costs money, and I imagine if we just, like, I imagine if we get to the point where we just run out of money, then we lose. Oh, this is a boss fight. I didn't even realize we have to pay to get into our boss fight. That kind of sucks. Um, yeah, like I said, I imagine if we run out of money and we can't advance to the next room, we just lose. Uh, so it's nice to have sack of pennies that's going to get us kind of a continuum. It looked like when I got hurt earlier, I lost pennies or lost uh, lost HP. Or yeah, lost pennies. I, got, I had it right the first time. Well, I also lost HP, obviously, but yeah. Uh, I want to check if there's an item room just because this will be the smallest floor. Okay, there are no item rooms on this, so we're running the whole time with just money equals power. So, anything we can do to make sure we get more money um, is going to be beneficial for us. Let's, uh, yeah, that's all we got on this floor. We could have looked for a secret room, which might have been a good idea, you know, in hindsight, but, ah. Uh, how far do we have to go? Who knows? Uh, so we can go in here. Oh, it's not a, not anything good. We did get a, like a crappy bomb out of him though, so that's uh, that's great. Nice little bonus there. Basically, just wasted a penny to go in there. Not even a blood bank that we can uh, take advantage of, so that sucks. Uh, excuse me, I'd like to juke past you there. I don't know how I did that. Turn into turn into freaking Reggie Bush for a second, but made it past him. That dime, uh, actually, it's a nickel. I know my currency. Uh, that nickel, nickel, nickel pickle. That nickel pickup is pretty helpful. Not seeing any tinted rocks, let's remind ourselves that if we take any damage, uh, could lose that deal with the devil chance, which is not something I particularly uh, strive to do. Let's see what this is. A card against humanity. I mean, gonna be pretty time con. What's the word? Uh, time consuming. There we go. Almost a time conscience, which is not actually a saying used by anyone. Black lipstick, uh, it's gonna give us less red hearts in the long run, but gonna give us more black hearts in exchange, so yeah, we'll take that, because we'd like to get a black heart as soon as possible. Uh, blue heart works just as well to, to secure, I didn't mean to come in here either. Uh, I believe more options only affects, um, item rooms, which we don't really have anyway. I will take PhD, because it's really good. From it, we're gonna get uh, a full health pill, which is good. We'll pop this here, and we'll just start doing this poop dirty. Uh, kind of sucks, but then we'll, we'll we'll carry full health with us. Maybe we can find a use for that at some point. I mean, by use, I mean it could stop us from dying, which is pretty good. Um, I mean, it'd be nice to like get petrified poop and oh yeah, baby, it'd be nice to get petrified poop in one of these. And uh, basically, I'm hoping this. Yeah, oh, here we go. So like, this is basically what I was hoping for. This card against humanity card. Uh, has basically paid for PhD. I mean, you'd at least expect. We've already gotten six cents so far. Uh, with Petrified Poop, you know, I was expecting a little bit more money. We haven't really gotten too much yet. Seven cents, eight cents, uh, tons of hearts. Nine cents, ten cents. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna get our value back, even if we're losing time. This does not seem like there's a time limit of any kind on it, so we can take as much as we want. Uh, I think it's gonna be completely worth it, considering we have money equals power. Uh, so every one of these that we pick up, we are getting a, a slight damage bonus, which now the pennies are coming in like freaking faster than Bill Gates' interest rate, interest rates on capital gains. And we got a spirit heart and a nickel. Oh, this is the greatest room of all time. Uh, not gonna lie, loving, loving life right now. Never, uh, never thought I'd say it, but man, 
if only rooms could fill with uh, feces more often. Perhaps not in real life, but you know, it's a, something worth thinking about. I don't know, I've never, you know, I, I don't usually inspect my own uh, fecal matter after I use the restroom. Uh, but who, who knows, maybe maybe there's a gold mine of, of hearts and, and soul hearts and also pennies just lying in there that, that we don't know about. That could be maybe how some of like the uh, you know the richest CEOs in the country, maybe that's how they got to their place today. They're just, you know, very avid uh, uh, defecation inspectors. Um, ooh, we got a sack. From the sack, we got a two hearts, which isn't that great, but we also got the uh, bomb and a key, which is that great. And we'll be fighting uh, Larry J. We'll be fighting this kind of annoying one. I really don't like it when there's this many segments because there's so much to look at at the same time. Uh, it's okay though, we got some hits we can take. Alright, if you could, yeah, I like when you go that way. I like the way you do it right there, right there. Uh, if we could take out a second one of these, I'd feel much safer. Yeah, it looks like every time we take a hit, basically it's like every enemy has the effect of those little greed heads, which are just like you, you lose one penny total. You have to pay to get in the deal with the devil, you kidding me? Brimstone. Ah, Krampus. I mean, you use a brimstone attack, but I was more like, ah, you also use that annoying brimstone attack. I was more hoping of acquiring uh, brim... If you could stop it with that bull honk. Uh, I was more hoping of acquiring a brimstone attack of sorts. Uh, we did not, and we also, man, took a lot of hits in there. Krampus's head is going to help a lot, though, as far as clearing out, um... You know, those rooms that are that are things. Um, we probably want to take Petrified Poop because it's going to give us pennies in the long run. We'll check in this room for poop, and it's just one of those instead. So, uh, Black Lipstick would be good for securing uh, those things. Deals with the devil because we can get some, you know, black hearts to fill our, fill our love up. Uh, but since this is a challenge based on money completely, uh, why not go with the trinket that's going to help us the most monetarily is my line of... Ah, oh, I ran right into him like a... Ah, uh, what is this? Second hand and extended... S I didn't read what that said. Uh, it's something new, so I mean, we can come back for petrified poop at any time. Speaking of poop, uh, we, can, we can come back for petrified poop if we find some... Uh, Running out of synonyms. Oh, that's nice having that. Thank you so much. I'm running out of synonyms for for poop without going straight for shit because that's just the easiest. That's the easiest. You know, going for the, the curse words is is the easiest uh, form of flattery. It's also the easiest way to you know think of. Oh man, we're getting really lucky with these everything drops. All these monies. Someone, I don't know, I don't know why. Someone must have invested right, uh, playing the stock market or something, because we're suddenly seeing all returns on all fronts. <sighs> that was this like Laos, which I mistakenly in a previous episode said was a country in China, which is already a country. So you know, one of those sub countries. You know, they, they exist. We got a fight with the uh, little rule. Oh, we forgot we have this. Oh, it does a little spinny spoo now. Well, that's cool. We gotta deal with the angel, which I'm not thrilled about. But I am thrilled about the extra 3 HP, which will help us, uh, survival-wise. Having this full health pill is good, too. Um, what else do we want? Should we go back for Petrohead Poop? Ah, we got 64 cents. I think we're fine. Let's see how far we have to go on this fight. We're like Mom's Heart or something. Uh, one, two, looks like Mom's Heart, maybe. Uh, no, it looks like we have to go to Satan, or maybe Isaac fight? I can't tell. There's like a little, like, thing over there on the left that looks like a, looks like the thing on the post-it note for Isaac, which is my only reasoning for why it could potentially be Isaac, uh, but I could be completely wrong. Do not, do not chalk that up for, for guaranteed truth, because there's, uh, very little truth in what I say. A lot of it is complete conjecture. Which is uh, not only alliteration, but also I have an itchy nose. Let's see, I'd rather not fight that big room, so we'll fight this long schlong room instead. This is the this is the room that ended uh, ended my 100 and whatever streak, so this room's got a special place in my heart. It's also nice seeing it destroyed completely before my eyes. We haven't really we haven't really done any searching. Uh, both soul searching and we haven't really done any like searching for like secret hearts yet. Oh, we took a red heart hit. Had 
Not that I would have expected to get anything on this floor anyway, because we got two in a row, but, you know. Uh, well, this is, like, this teleportation thing that's going on right now is, like, really bugging me. Uh, I'd like to eradicate you. <sighs> now, I'm not talking about eradicate from Pokemon. Uh, that reminds me, one of, one of the big things growing up. Can we just, like, pay it again? We don't have to... Uh, no, I mean, the door is, like, wide open. Uh, with, with doors wide open, I can't go in them. I don't know who sings that. It's some band with a uh, with a man whose voice sounds like a guinea pig or like a like a really deep voice guinea pig. But uh, who sings that? Like Creed, maybe? See there? I get all those bands confused. They're all they're all just they're all bands with two E's in them. Uh, it's hard to tell them apart. But uh, anyway, I remember being a kid. One of the easiest ways to get in fights with friends. Although I wouldn't particularly like call them out on it myself. Different when when you have friends who also played Pokemon, but they pronounce the names a little bit different than you did. For me, that was one of my biggest pet peeves as a as a child. You know, you, you just have the urge to call your friends on it. I remember I always uh, well the big one that always got me was growing up. Uh, I always called uh, so like first Pokemon games ever. I always called it uh, Ratata was the name of that little purple rodent thing, you know? Like a, it's like the shittiest Pokemon you can get, basically. You catch it, like, first on every game. Uh, Ratata. I call that thing Ratata because I'm pretty sure that's what he says when he, like, you know, does his, like, scream or whatever. Whatever you want to call those things. I'm pretty sure he says Ratata. But, uh... Ooh, blank card? Let's see what this card is. Blank card. Credit card. Uh, we'll just use the credit card and then we can get blank card for free I still like the prospect of having uh, Krampus's uh, Krampus's head just to deal with boss fights quickly I also like for the prospect of man I like the little spinny effect on it we'll go back and grab this free battery uh, yeah but no I, I had friends who would pronounce it as uh, Rattata or uh, Rattata or something, you know, just those, just those slight differences. Pageant Boy is actually like, this is one of the few times I'm like really happy to have it because it basically gives us like seven extra rooms we can go to, as well as seven times whatever the damage bonus per penny is. But no, I call it Rattata, you call it Rattata, it's not okay. Everybody needs to subscribe to my, my ways of, of naming the Pokemon. There are no alternatives. You call it anything else, you're just plain wrong. Don't try to pretend like you aren't. Ah, you shoot so fast. Ah, fudge. Bimpkin. Uh, I'd like to stop doing what we're doing in this room, which is uh, dying. I'm trying to think of other uh, specific Pokemon that I had. Uh, I had issues with especially. What do we got here? Speed up. We got a lot of those. We're going to be speedy as a wicket. Let's just like chuck a bomb in there and see if it's anything good. I mean, the money is very good. We'll throw a bomb in there because we should get one back, and we got a penny and a key out of it as well. I'd call that a worthy transaction, and if I have to be completely honest, quite a badass move at the same time. It just like makes us look good. It probably looks makes us look better at the game than uh, than we actually are. Really got nervous he was gonna do something. He regretted there. Luckily we stopped him before he did it. Uh, we got another penny from Sacco Pennies. We we're, we're keeping a pretty decent equilibrium here, right at this, you know, 58 cent mark, 57 cent. We've, uh, from what we started at 50, I mean, we really haven't altered too much. That, I mean, obviously that uh, crap, I almost called it crap up against humanity. Card against humanity early on uh, helped out a little. You spawn teller, not like a bank teller, but he also didn't tell me where he was gonna spawn. So don't it, don't misconstrue my words. What's this another speed upgrade? Yeah, we'll take it. Uh, I'd like to not die while I'm taking it. Speed. I can't remember how many, uh... Yeah, just kidding. These guys are the most obnoxious enemies in the entire game. Oh, we don't have any bombs. I should've used the bomb on the two bombs first. <gasps> uh, excuse me, you little jumping bean. If you could stop, Mr. Uh, that reminds me of one of my favorite Sega games growing up is, uh, Dr. Ro Robotnik's Mean Bean Machine. Ah, oh, I fiking got fiked. 
Ah, great game growing up. If you haven't played it, it's basically freaking Connect 4 on steroids. Squeezy's a good pickup. We must have taken red heart damage. Yeah, we did. That's why we didn't get anything good out of it. Do we want to go find the shop? Uh, if I find a penny in any... Alright, we're gonna go find the shop. My, my stipulation was if I found a penny in any of these spots. <gasps> hey, I avoided it. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, if you could, uh, a little mask, if you could go away. I don't know why these the masks just freak me out beyond uh, beyond all these. They also make me mad. They're just obnoxious. I mean, uh, I was kind of hoping for like a greed fight. We'll buy the pill since we got that thing. Uh, we'll use this out here. Try to get a decent card of some sort, maybe. Uh, instead, we'll get absolutely nothing out of it, which you know is fine. Do we want to buy a spirit heart? I kind of just want to like save my money and uh, and continue with our important work. Pick up the battery charge. Let's go. We got a couple more, like literally three more floors to go, and we're doing fine as long as we. I mean, we've got the HP and we've got the full health pill that we can essentially just carry until. Well, I mean, as long as we need it, really. Am I gonna sacrifice? Uh, He's barely at my toe! Nuggets! Yeah, I'm gonna sacrifice the whole thing even though I just sacrificed so much to... I, I tried so hard and got so far. In the end, in the end, it's worth it because we got a penny in this room as well as a sack with another penny and a bomb and a thing. And we also got a spirit heart out of the deal, so uh, I'm gonna say it's worth it. We're kind of, you know, like I said, we were at that equilibrium before of a little bit above 50 cents. We're now dipped a little bit below that point, uh, so it's something I'd like to regain is our is our footing in the penny market. Let's cool it. Let, let's pretend that didn't happen. Let's uh, let's let's chillax a little bit as the as the youngins are saying today. Let's get a flight upgrade. Let's avoid that. Flight upgrade is gonna help a lot. Hopefully, help me stop taking damage. And another HP when we get to the next floor is nothing to sneeze at. Also. I chew. I get it. You're funny. You, you, you're gonna hurt me when I say the word sneeze. It's it's not cool, really. Uh, is there like invisible enemies in here? Yeah, yeah. You you got some invisibility going on here. And when you go back invisible, I think I'm gonna hide right here. I'd like to just do some damage to you if I could. Steady over time, and uh, that works out for me. Man, fires for some reason. I don't know. I don't know who called the pyro money axe. <laughs> <laughs> but we're getting a lot of penny fires. I'm um, not really interested in arcade. Might be interested in shop, but like I said, we're kind of falling below that equilibrium point that makes me feel comfortable. Uh, 43 cents is still decent, but I mean, the more pennies we not waste, but use, we're losing money, or we're, or we're losing damage at the same time. Re you really want to sell me on this Robo Spider? This will be good for us. It's going to cost 15 cents now. But every time Sacker Pennies drops a penny, and anytime we get pennies in general in the future, we got a freaking bed, are you kidding me? We do have some keys, so like, I feel like this could be good for us. Uh, especially if he pays out, since we're not worried about going to item rooms, keys are really useless for us on this, so if we could stop getting... Yeah, that's great, that's what I wanted. I was gonna say if we could stop getting keys that just pay out with, uh, or chests that just pay out with a single half heart, I'd appreciate that if we can get some pennies out of this guy. Nah, we're gonna get arachnids. So, 31 cents. We should be able to... Oh, these pennies doubled. I, I, I would have left these pennies behind, which is stupid on me. It makes me feel like a, uh, a dumb damn. A damn dummy, whatever you want to call it. Uh, that's also a nice uh, name for a, a beaver that uh, isn't very smart. Is a damn dummy. Or, you know, Her Herbert Hoover, or whatever his name is. Henry Hoover. Uh, if you did not do that, I'd appreciate that. Um, I think Humbling Bundle is probably gonna seal the deal, as uh, as I like to say for us. What do we got here? Uh, uh, okay, I don't want to lose this. Uh, pretty fly. Yeah, say pretty fly some more for me, baby. Uh, is this gonna be like a. Yeah, it's gonna be a shop library. You know, one of those places where you buy books. Actually, you don't. You just get a library card for free and you just take them. Uh, we will blow this bad boy up because he should give us some pennies out of there. Uh, yeah, Humbling Bundle is probably going to be the game for us. I think it should. It put us back a little bit, 15 cents. But long term, getting double the pennies where we would normally get, it should make it to the point where we could even hurt ourselves, I think. 
and it should now pay out with more than than what we got hurt with because usually it only pays out with one less if anything it'll be equal to so we won't have to worry about the taking damage aspect anymore but let's see yeah i wasn't paying attention there but i feel like maybe even like if we could find maybe we shouldn't have blown up that blood bank well I, like i said i don't want to lose the uh, red heart the uh, the eternal heart i don't like the skinny room I don't know if you've noticed, but I don't like the skinny room. Yeah, we're getting, we're actually getting benefit from getting hurt, so maybe I'll take, well, now I'm taking dumb damage and, uh, losing my chances for a deal with the devil, which I'd really like to keep. Also, would love to keep this eternal heart. I can't remember if there was, like, a, a thing back there, but I'm not really gonna fret my pet. Uh, I'm a little scared here. I'm not gonna freaking lie to you. Uh, yeah, yeah. A lot of cross beams going on here. A lot of, a lot of cross hedging. It's like a shading style, I'm pretty sure. Maybe a second secret. Maybe we don't have any bombs there. Maybe an Isaac. Isaac! Ah, we got annoying red mom, which is gonna be annoying as duck. And I'd like to, you know, not lose. Hopefully, we can, like, keep getting this revenge fly to. Ah! I would have. I wish I would have just stood here and let this lady stomp that. I mean, not uh, uh, well, who was expecting to get a payout of. We have this ready, and I just wasted it like a dim damn. Um, it's fine that we're taking damage. We have this full health pill still. This fight is not going well. You're probably uh, noticing right about now. Oops, I itched my nose, and that caused me to take some damage, but it caused us to gain a pair of it. My nose is itching up a storm right now, which when this foot of fury is coming down every four seconds, uh, which is a great alliteration, uh, we can't really be scratching any noses, even our own. I'd love to scratch somebody else's, but yeah, it's just not something on my to-do list right now. We're almost done. I'm expecting an eye to pop out like any second, like eye, maybe? Nah, no eyes. Eyes have it. All right. We'll take this. We'll take, since we're going to Isaac, we'll take uh, the Polaroid. Not that we're going to get any benefit from it in any way. <laughs> we won't get one from the negative either because we're not at a half heart. Uh, man, I would love to have picked up some mapping of some sort. Uh, we're at 43 cents now, but we're not doing crazy damage. And I would like to be doing crazy damage. Uh, we got a battery charge there, which could come in handy. We'll, we'll wait for this charge to get back up. Yeah, we will go into this cursey roomy. Hope for... Well, actually... Ah, you Carnegie. Uh, we're doing fine with HP, but let's see if we can find uh, a secret room here. Ah, the answer is nah. But we'll go in here anyway, because I think it could be worth it. It was not worth it if you were... Some, if someone asks you, like, hey, is that movie just did worth it? Nah. The answer's pretty effectively no. These guys seem slower than usual for some reason. I'm not complaining. Alright, so we have... Assuming I'm right and assuming that little cross means we go to Isaac. We have... Uh, two more floors to go to? Three more floors? I guess it depends if you like, count this floor or not. That's how I... Whenever you're like looking forward a couple of days and you're like, oh, something's in blank amount of days... You always have to decide, like, are you going to count today? And it's like, if today's Monday and you have an event on Tuesday... Oh, wait, that's too soon. Let's do it better. Today's Monday, you got something to go to on Friday. Do you say, oh, it's in it's in five days? Because, you know, Monday, uh, Friday. Or do you say, well, Monday's almost done. At what, at what point in the day is it okay to start saying, ah, I don't like that. At what point in the day is it okay to say Monday's done? Also, closing time. All right. Uh, we got our uh, this thing back. I didn't really want to pick that up, but we picked it up anyway. Um, this room strikes me as obnoxious. So let's finish her. Finishing move. Uh, we're gonna lose. We lost that deal with the devil, which we've been losing those this whole time, which is the only thing really hampering us on this run in any way. And I'm not talking about a laundry hamper used to. Ah, I don't really don't like this. Let's, let's set a bomb down here because. It is going to help us a little bit because we're going to get some uh, mad mad cash out of this. We're getting close back to that 50, 50 cent equilibrium point that I was so happy with earlier. Uh, hmm. It strikes me as an obnoxious room. I'm not going to lie to you, but just do that and nothing to worry about. Man, if we would have kept Petrified Poo Poo, we could have had some benefit out of that. Mm, we'll just keep going here. I kind of like that room had nothing in it. 
I would like more rooms with nothing in it. These rooms with some things in it are getting on my uh, getting on my nerves a little bit. And uh, I've hit the point of the night. Oh, it's 3:06. I've hit the point of the night uh, where my uh, nasal cavities are starting to close up on themselves. Which is my favorite uh, part of the day. We still have a slight chance, so maybe find a yeah. We'll just get a small rock in there, which actually is better than a spear heart if we don't get it. Even if we take a hit here and do not get a uh, deal with the uh, with the duble, as my brother so strangely puts it. If we don't get a deal with the duble, that's fine. We'll we'll we'll, we'll move on. We'll, we'll rebuild. Uh, you can shoot your purple grape shots at me, please. Yeah, grape soda. Uh, we'll just hide in this corner and hope that these beams of light do not uh, wreak havoc on our uh, ASs. They did not. This guy is doing another charge move. Dodged them pretty effectively so far. Another effective dodge. Ability to fly. This room would be obnoxious with these rocks. <laughs> you homing grapes. You remind me of Lanky Kong from from the classic Donkey Kong 64. Classic game. We gotta deal with the Farkin' Angel again. And from it, we're gonna get Sacred Hort. Uh, this run's probably done, I'm gonna say at this point. We don't need White Pony, we'll take this for some extra damage. I feel pretty good! Um, really glad we didn't take a hit there. Would've, when I went ahead and said that you know Small Rock is worth more to us, uh, not when Sacred Heart's the item that you're you're gonna get out of it. Uh, with, with, with money equals power, Small Rock, Sacred Heart, and a full health pill with some number of red heart containers that we have that I'm too lazy to count at this moment. We should be fine. It's just a matter of like how long does it take us to get done, which I'd like to, if possible, like speed through all this uh, snap uh, business. In fact, uh, I may to like get a big damage bonus. Maybe let's go play. Oh, we finally get one of these bad boys. Let's play it. It's gonna hurt. But we're getting a lot of money out of it. Yeah, we're get. Is this gonna be worth it to use this full health pill here? I don't know. Maybe. Could be completely not worth it. But we are at a hundred cents, so let's pop it. Our damage bonus is gonna be the maximum that it can be at this point. And now we just make sure we do not take damage for the remainder of the game, as we just took there. Uh. We should still be fine. We got little Chad. He's going to be paying out frequently with these uh, payouts that he's so... I really don't like that you spun there. That actually helped me, like, zero. It actually hurt me. Um, but our damage is, is pretty swell at this point. And as long as he keeps dropping these half hearts... We have another library? Hmm. We'll at least, like, pop it. Lock it. And uh, we'll finish by dropping it, uh, I think would be a uh, nice one, two, three punch. But uh, da, da, da. for some reason I just said like the butta, which is a weird thing to say in the first place, but I said it to like the tune of the beginning of Centuries by uh, Fall Out Boy. You know, the band that used to uh, used to be a rock band, then came back as a pop band, and then but when they came back as a pop band, then announced themselves as a rock band, so you know. Uh, you know, c confusing standards. They're sending mixed signals. Here. I need to. Some someone help me out here. I can't understand them. Uh, I'm like looking for tinted rocks while I'm trying to dodge these jumping worms, which is a bad way to conduct business. Uh, we got here more uh, more pennies. Sure. I'd like to find this. Uh, almost called him a deal with the devil. I'd like to find this mom's heart fight. Relatively quickly, we're still holding this freaking penny, or not penny, like rod or something down here. I, I still don't know what it does, nor do I really particularly care at this point. If it if it's an item that gives us sacred heart every time, then damn, that's a good item, because it did work. And uh, we're going to take away half his HP very nicely, blast these guys in the backs of their skulls. Maybe just throw a bomb at Oh, we have homing bombs now. I don't know if tear effects suddenly work on bombs, but that bomb seemed to, like, run right for <gasps> Run for him. All right. Yeah, we got no issues. We're gonna we're gonna go up. What's this right here? Ah, hush fight. Not really something I'm interested in doing. I'd rather just, like, get this done. Get the pay-to-play challenge done. I think at that point we'll be... I can't remember if this is the fourth or fifth challenge, but if it's the fifth, we'll be uh, officially halfway done with challenges... Uh, from the Binding of Isaac Afterbirth, uh, and we finished the speed challenge, which is, from what I'm hearing, uh, is by consensus of most, the most annoying 
maybe not difficult, uh, eh, probably difficult, most difficult challenge would probably be speed. Um, I've heard bad things about the Guardian as well, which I haven't played yet. Uh, just from my friends, I've heard awful things about them getting all the way to like, mom's heart with the on the Guardian fight, so I don't know how far you have to go, but I don't know even know what you what the premise of it is, but I've heard I've heard rough things about it. Uh, it is important to remind ourselves that uh, we do not have a full health pill any longer. Uh, so even though we do have little Chad, which is going to pay out every two to three rooms, as he paid out here, uh, it'd be better to not have to rely on him so heavily to win the game for us. Uh, it'd be nice if we could get some sort of... Yeah, ability to fly in this room is not essential if you can kill these guys quick enough. Uh, it makes the room a lot easier when you can just like duck and hide over these little crevasses. I'm not really a crevasse, it's like the exact opposite of crevasse. It's like a space where there's nothing between rocks and like there's a little bit of a space where there is a rock. Bob's brain, yeah, why not? I love me some brain and uh, dude, dude, so let's just go. I got a good feeling about this. Yeah, smack him right in the head with that green uh, piece of gray. It's not gray matter, it's green matter. Which uh, would be a really good name for a eco-friendly superhero. If I, I mean Marvel, if you're listening, which I completely would expect you to be, if you're listening, it's a great idea. Um, we have enough HP that I think we'll beat him anyway, but we'll take these like just in case, like as a safety net precautionary measure. Blow this up to Cricket's head. Ah, I was kidding. You you thought I meant actually getting Cricket's head? Nah. Eh, we got no secret room here. We could check below, but I'm lazy. It's entirely possible it could have been there. Um, so, so now, just in case we uh, fail, which we got our boss fight right here, I'm not going to use Krampus's head this first time. Actually, I will, because we have a battery charge. So if we somehow manage to die, we'll take this so we have a half heart interval. Uh, we will... Ah, the spin fudged me. I don't like that new spin on, uh, on Krampus's head. It already got nerfed once. You didn't have to nerf it again, game designer. Um, not really too worried about this. We can probably, at this point, just like... Eh. The Isaac fight becomes so easy when you have a full suite of orbitals because all of his attacks are... He has, I mean, he has some where he'll rush you down, but most of them are not contact-based, and we can just stay in here and block out, like everything that comes in. Besides these lights, which are pretty easy to dodge because we have high enough speed, um... Nothing to worry about. Bob's brain's gonna blast him. We're gonna finish. We're gonna grab a trophy. We're gonna grab this dime because we can. And we're gonna pick up the trophy. We're gonna hang it on our shelf later. We're gonna get two new pills, which are cool. I don't know what they do. Maybe the maybe the pill is literally called two new pills, and it gives you two pills. Who knows? Um, how many challenges do we have left to do? Uh, Alright, that was 24, so we still have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 left to do. We'll do it at some other point. Right now, I kind of want to go play Fallout. It's 3.14 in the morning. I have to be up in 4 hours and 15 minutes. Why not play an episode of Fallout? So, uh, thank you guys so much for watching this. If you enjoyed, go ahead and subscribe. We'll go back to this main screen to give you something pretty to look at. Go ahead and subscribe to become a citizen of Playcrastination today, and don't forget to like the video, comment on the video, and share it with your friends, especially when I emphasize that last part, sharing this video with your guys' friends, colleagues, co-workers, bosses, lovers, affairs, mistresses, whatever. Share it with whoever you need to, uh, it's gonna be the easiest way for me to get my name out there. I only know so many people, and uh, that number is decreasing every day, so, uh, because I have dementia. Anyway. Thank you guys so much, and uh, I would say have a good afternoon, but it's 3 in the morning, so go to sleep.